Network tonight on the disease AIDS. Channel 2 News has obtained an advanced copy of a draft report that reaches the chilling conclusion that one million Americans will probably be infected with the AIDS virus before the end of next year. The report comes from the joint Los Angeles City County AIDS Task Force. This is a draft of a document which, after some revision, is due to be released next month. In the words of the task force, the AIDS crisis is just beginning. At the AIDS Project, a support group for AIDS patients in Los Angeles, there is growing concern about the AIDS epidemic. There were 47 new cases of AIDS in Los Angeles last month, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The task force report says by the end of 1984, 300,000 Americans were infected with the AIDS virus, 30,000 have shown signs of the deadly disease. AIDS is a disease that's terribly threatening because of the fact that it's contagious through intimate relations and, and blood transfers. Uh, therefore, if, if we don't do something about it now, it, it's going to be, it could be a potential disaster. The task force says that of the one million Americans who will probably be infected with the AIDS virus by the end of 1986, 100,000 will have the symptoms of AIDS itself. Their bodies will be unable to fight off almost any disease. A public health emergency will exist by the end of 1986. AIDS patients will require $10 billion a year for medical care, and the U.S. medical system will be overwhelmed. Dr. Martin Finn works for the Los Angeles County Health Department. We must turn this around. There's no evidence that a vaccine is imminent. It could be four to five years away. But must remember, the vaccine does no good to someone who already is infected. The task force report that Channel 2 News obtained stresses that there is no vaccine for AIDS and no treatment at this time. Prevention is essential if the deadly epidemic is to be slowed until a cure is found. And the task force concludes, Americans need to be educated about AIDS. What do you think people can do to protect themselves? Uh, go to clinics. To just be careful, I guess. I'm, I really don't know. Well, I don't think you can do really anything to prevent from getting it. Standing by live now in Atlanta is Dr. Peter Drotman. Dr. Drotman is an epidemiologist with the National Centers for Disease Control. Dr. Drotman, do we have an epidemic? Yes, we've had an epidemic since AIDS was first discovered in 1981. And since those first reported cases, until uh, last week, we've now had 8,000 cases reported to us from all across the country. It is still largely confined to that at-risk area, Haitians, um, hemophiliacs, male homosexuals, intravenous drug users, that's about it. Yes, and a few others. There are now uh, nearly 1% of cases related to blood transfusions and about 1% are in heterosexuals who have had uh, intimate sexual contact with one of the uh, groups you already mentioned. But at the moment, there's no indication that the, the AIDS uh, virus is spreading to the heterosexual community, except in those rare cases you spoke of where they've had sexual relations with, with, with a gay. Well, the percentage is rather low, as I said, about 1%. But because the number of cases continues to increase, that 1% still represents a growing number of people. Officials here in Los Angeles uh, want an education program on AIDS begun even before a major assessment uh, can be made. They say we can't wait. Do you believe that kind of urgency is necessary? I'm in substantial agreement with that. I think uh, education and prevention is paramount in uh, combating AIDS. Uh, precisely what form the uh, program should take uh, I think requires a little bit more planning and should not just be a haphazard effort but rather a coordinated effort with the public agencies private and community groups involved and some support from uh, CDC and the federal government there's a real dilemma when you try to educate the public about AIDS you also run the risk of establishing unreasonable fear, indeed inducing paranoia, and some public health workers are now virtually paranoid about this, wanting nothing to do, uh, refusing treatment to anyone who, who has AIDS. How do we overcome that? Well, a good uh, education program has many components to it, including medical and professional training, as well as education targeted toward the populations most at risk for the disease as well as information for the uh, general lay public.
Can we assure the general lay public that there really is little likelihood of uh, catching AIDS by casual contact, even living in the same home with someone who has AIDS, that it still is generally through blood transfer or other body fluids? Yes. <laughs> Yes, the, uh, the AIDS virus has been discovered and is fairly well characterized epidemiologically, which means we know how it is transferred. And basically, the routes of transfer are very limited, limited to sexual contact and to exposure to blood and blood products. It is not transmitted through the air or through food or through water, as many other disease agents are. And we're, are we spending enough money to uh, combat it? Well, all of the priority investigation programs do have sufficient funding. Uh, so I would say basically yes to that. But uh, in this era of scarce public resources, uh, if there was more available, I, I think it could be spent wisely. But if it threatened the mainline heterosexual community, we'd be spending more, wouldn't we? I think that, uh, as I indicated, all of the important priority uh, research areas are, are funded now. Thank you, Dr. Groton.